Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know, and welcome to today's video. Also, I'm still obsessed with my hair if you cared. Um, still love it, but today is going to be getting my life together because I have back-to-back -back competition weekends as a coach and an athlete, both weekends, and I haven't competed myself since March, so it's almost been a year, and I think I forgot how this whole process works. So today we are doing all the steps necessary to getting my life together. And getting your life together competition style is way different than getting your life together normal. Like I feel like for a normal everyday basis, my life is very together. Competition style, I am all over the place. So we started this morning by getting a few steps done. I showered, I did like a hair mask so my hair would stay healthy, I shaved my legs, did all that, and then I made the to-do list. So this is what's on today's agenda. So first up is Ulta. I want to go get some new makeup. I also got some gift cards for Christmas So I want to actually splurge and I think get a really nice foundation We shall see and then Walgreens for a few other little makeup and just like travel things I need okay Well, I guess cloud is also on the to-do list because he needs attention. Oh my god. Wait He hasn't been in like any videos lately So we are gonna take a few a brief little intermission for some cloud you got anything to say? Back to the list then we're gonna come home. We're gonna whiten my teeth we are going to cook some lunch, we're gonna do some skincare, I need to figure out my nail situation, do laundry, and start making a packing list. Currently, as I'm recording this, it's Monday, and obviously I don't have to leave for the competition on Friday, so I'm not gonna pack yet in this vlog, but we're gonna use today, hello, to get everything ready and kind of like just settled, so that way when I do pack, it makes it easier. Okay, and some more cloud. Oh, the cutest little chicken nugget. I love you, dude. I'm gonna miss you two weekends in a row without you. What am I gonna do? I was gonna change and put like a better looking sweat outfit on, but honestly, I don't care that much. So this is our OOTD. These are like 10 year old Nike, like youth extra large sweatpants. Don't even know where they're from. Crop sweaters from Revolve, and I'm probably just gonna throw Air Forces on, and let's get this show on the road, baby. I think we might hit up Starbucks first because I need some energy. <laughs> Also, we're gonna address the elephant in this room. This thing's a monster on my face. The rest of my face is so clear And I'm not mad about it because that means this will be gone by this weekend, but this thing is just It's the star of the show right now. Okay I decided to hold off on Starbucks until after Ulta like maybe on my way home But we made it to Ulta and here is my list of things that I need to get First on the list is a good foundation. Did some research. I think the one we're gonna go with is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It had like amazing reviews. It was at the top of the bestsellers list. So I think we're gonna go with that one. So we're gonna get that. Possibly a Kylie lip kit of a darker, we're kind of doing like a maroon lip this year. So I don't have any of those. All my normal composition lipsticks are bright red. So possibly a darker red type of maroon if they have it. And then the fun eyeshadow looks for makeup. So. We're doing, you know how Senior Elite does like the teal under eye? So our color scheme this year are pink and blue. So I need, I don't own any, I don't own any fun makeup palettes at all. My eyeshadow palettes that I have are all just like browns, grays, blacks. So I wanna get a fun one that has pink and blue colors and I think that's everything. Possibly another setting spray. I think I have enough right now, but it doesn't hurt to stock up and we're already here. I also think I might have two gift cards because I don't think I ever used mine from Christmas 2019. Like, where do I even start? How do I, I don't know how to do this. Does that look like it matches? <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I think this is the one we're gonna go with. The shade sand. Is that too dark? I don't know how to do this. Yeah, um, I just did some damage. I've never spent that much money on makeup. Only one of my gift cards would work. The total came out to $150! $150 for a girl that doesn't wear makeup. Mind blowing. Anyway, I'll do a haul when I get home because I think next step we're gonna, we're gonna change the to-do list. I love that Ulta has everything from drugstore to high end and I forgot about that so I don't even have to go to Walgreens. They had everything that I needed in there. So we're just gonna go home now and I need to sort through my makeup. Let's go do a haul of the $150 worth of makeup that I just got. All right, I'll try to find links to everything so I can put them down below if I can. So first, we just got a new felt tip liner. This is my favorite for doing like a wing. I don't like liquid, I like to use the felt tip. Figured I probably needed a new one because I haven't used it in a while. Um, I got another Real Techniques sponge because my other one I feel like was just like, like I think it just like reached the end. It's just like a weird texture now. I think this is why my makeup's not like sitting 
that well on my face so we retired that one got a new one um okay so glitter primer because i use this for like the eyelid and then a fun new glitter this year i got the little like rose color a hint of pink to go with the makeup we're getting bold here i don't think i'm talented enough to do colored makeup then i got a couple different new brushes so i just got an eyebrow brush i don't have an eyebrows or like the, the spoolie kind of thing. So I needed one of those. And then I just got a crease brush and a blending brush. Just the e.l.f. ones are the cheapest ones. I got a new setting spray. I feel like I always need one of those. Okay. So you saw my dilemma of how the heck do I match foundation? I don't know how to do it. I'm tan right now. And I probably won't get a spray tan for this weekend. I don't even know if I'll get one for cheer sport. Because I am very naturally tan right now. And I'll probably try to get out in the sun at least one more day before that. So, is this my color? I might have done a good job. You know what? I, I feel like I might have done okay. Let's open it and see. I'm not putting any on right now, but I feel like you can just see better. I don't know, but I think my skin is a little bit darker than my face, so it should match. I think I did okay. This was definitely a little bit pricier. I've never spent this much money on a single makeup product ever. But I've been wanting to splurge on a foundation because the ones I was having just, they just weren't cutting it. And then I got, oh, I forgot I got this. This is also expensive. <laughs> I've needed a better bronzer. Same thing with my drugstore one. It just wasn't cutting it anymore. So I got the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I feel like this is like the OG. Everyone has it. I just got the little travel size, but... I needed to step up my makeup game. And last, this is the eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, there's, it's so bold. This is the eyeshadow palette we went with. I will probably use these colors the most and then that one also. Maybe, I mean, it, there's like some good browns. There's some whites and blacks. Hopefully, I looked it up, the reviews were like, okay. I obviously couldn't swatch anything, even if I could. I don't know what that means. I literally don't know how to do makeup. And that was everything, my $150 makeup haul. So now what we need to do is go through my makeup drawer and clean out out of this what I don't need anymore, what I want to keep in there. Also, okay, so these are normally my favorite competition lashes. They are literally from the Dollar Tree. Come on, can you, can you focus? And we cannot find them anywhere. They are incredibly dramatic, but I love them. And I came across these ones at Target that I feel like are slightly more natural but still super dramatic and i feel like i think it was eight dollars for three pairs so i'm gonna link these down below as well because i have a feeling these are gonna be my new comp lashes because i love the dramatic natural wispy look of them okay and while i sit and sort through all my makeup i'll probably watch a youtube video and i'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and we're gonna use the whitening strips these are from spotlight oral care these are the ones i like to use these stay on for an hour so i have a feeling the makeup's obviously not gonna take me that long so we might do like makeup and then some eyebrows and whatever else we think of. So, cue the time lapse. This is all the makeup that we cleaned out that I don't need. This is all like, I don't know how to explain it. This is like my go-to everyday kind of makeup bag. It's just like the smaller one. This has everything else. I attempted to organize it, but I don't really know if it's organized. I have the palettes, the bronzers, the all, all of the above in there. Then the eyelashes. Do I have enough makeup wipes? I don't know. Have I even mentioned what competition I'm going to? I don't think I have. So this weekend is all out nationals in Orlando, Florida. And then next weekend is cheer sport nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. And they are both happening in person. So we are going there and very interested to see how it goes. On that note, I have a little, not a rant, more so I want to get your feedback. And again, I'm sorry I'm doing this while I'm whitening my teeth, but whatever. Um, so the whole picture taking scenario. I think my personal rules are going to be that I will only take pictures with you if you're wearing a mask. And that still stresses me out. Like, I feel like majority of you, I would say like 90% of you, I can trust that you guys have been safe. If you were sick, you wouldn't be there. But I feel like there's some people and some coaches that are not taking this whole pandemic seriously at all. And what if there's people that are there with symptoms that are just still competing because they want to. And then they come up and ask me for a picture. And then that stresses me out a lot. I, but then also if I say no, everyone takes it the wrong way. And then, oh my God, my name's getting slandered on Twitter because I said no for 
touching you and taking a picture with you during a pandemic when I don't know you and I don't know where you've been or who you come in contact with. So, if you guys have any suggestions on how I could figure that out, I would appreciate it because it's stressing me out a little bit. I... I don't know, it's hard because obviously I love meeting you guys and I love taking pictures, but like my health and my team's health and the gym is obviously my main priority. I don't want to be responsible for bringing something into the gym and putting others at risk, especially because my mom's going to be there this weekend and then she'll fly back home and she'll be around my grandparents a lot. And it just really stresses me out and I don't know what to do and... Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I do think the mask thing is going to be a 100% like, I will say no if you don't have a mask on or like you can go find a mask and come back and ask, but let me know. Okay, it's been an hour. Did my teeth look whiter? Wait, they actually, they, they do. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to notice a difference yet. Um, I got like a good chunk of my video edited and I was starting to get really tired. I'm like, I need to get up. I got stuff to do. So it's lunchtime, baby. And there's truly just no better lunch than HelloFresh. This is one of my favorite recipes ever. So today we are making the mozzarella stuffed caprese burgers with some potato wedges on the side. And I am so forking excited. I can't get over it. You guys already know that I absolutely love HelloFresh, but one of the main reasons is that they have so many different recipes to choose from every single week that are like absolutely top-notch, delicious. And without HelloFresh, I feel like I'm just stuck cooking the same things over and over and I get in such a recipe rut. And they also cut out the stressful, the meal planning, the grocery shopping, which you guys know I absolutely hate and I like never do it. But they make it so easy for you because you just get your meals delivered right to your door and they can be cooked in around 30, sometimes even 20 minutes. And I just remembered that I have an air fryer now so I don't have to wait for the oven to preheat and I can cook my little potato wedges in the air fryer. I'm so excited. So let's get cooking. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Um, you're joking. This looks like 5 star restaurant quality. And I did that? So before we get into the taste test, I want to hook you guys up with my discount code. So go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 Fuller to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com, 10 Fuller. I have everything on the screen, and again, link down below, so you should definitely go check it out. You guys already know. I mean, how could you not know? Look at this. I did that. I made that myself. Okay, I have to do a taste test because this is literally like screaming my name right now. It looks so good. Oh, I wanted to, wait, I need to take a picture of it. You cannot convince me that I just made that. And that's why I love HelloFresh because if you're like me, like I would say I'm not a terrible cook. Very mediocre at it. But like if I can make this, I can't wait any longer. So make sure to check out HelloFresh. I'm going to go sit and eat this and watch Love Island. I have graduated from Love Island Australia to now Love Island UK. And I'm watching season two right now. So Did I just eat that entire burger and lay here and take a nap? Maybe. Actually, I think the lines on my face give that away. All right, so next up on the list is nails. Now, you guys know I've been raving about these impressed nails, and honestly, I'm gonna link these down below if you guys want them, because I put these on probably about a week and a half ago, and not a single one has fallen off. They're all super like intact still, and I was planning on taking these off before this weekend, but part of me is like, honestly, like they're still on pretty strong, so I'm debating on painting over these ones or doing a whole different set and putting them on. But what I think I'm going to do with my nails are black. And then I got these really cool flame stickers that I'm going to show you. So I went through about seven different ideas in the process of the last time I talked to you. So idea number one was that I was a professional and I could draw my own flames. Now for your sake, luckily I already threw those nails away. But I tried to take... A bobby pin, I tried to take the bottom of this makeup brush that I literally just bought, dip it in the pink, try to draw flames. Didn't work. Who would have thought? Didn't work. So I had a genius idea and I was like, okay, so my issue with the flame stickers is that they're not the exact color, but hello, 
I have nail polishes in the exact color I want. So I just did this super fast. I'm going to do it now like serious on the nails that I want to. Look how cool this is. Again, ignore the little mess up because I wouldn't do that. But I just painted the stickers to be the exact color flames I want. It's perfect. So I'm going to paint some of the flames blue, paint some pink, put them on the nails. I don't think I'm going to put the nails on tonight because I have practice soon. But I'll show you what they look like on the table and then... I'll insert a clip later on when I actually put the nails on. But I'm proud of this. Thank God I figured this out because I was getting stressed for a second. They looked so good until I put a top coat on and smudged it because I'm too impatient and couldn't just wait until they were dry. So I think it's a sign that we need to call it quits for today. <laughs> this was a disaster. This whole section, I'm probably gonna have to cut so much of this footage out because I don't even know how long I've been sitting here. I feel like I've been sitting here for two hours. But... That is the plan. That looked good until I ruined it. So I have these ones sitting with the paint color. I have the rest of the nails. But with that being said, I need to get ready for practice. I will pick this back up tomorrow when I finish doing competition prep. And I'm sorry for this mess of a section. Okay, bye. Okay, we are back. It is the next day. My plan was to start this video portion today of me going to lay out by the pool, trying to get an hour in the sun. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees right now. The wind is crazy, so we're going to hold off on that. Maybe another day later on in this week will warm up a little bit. But we are back to the nails. I feel confident. I feel ready. So I painted all of the stickers that I'm using last night so the paint is completely dry. I don't have to worry about anything getting messed up while it's still wet. I fixed the nails from yesterday and just went like nail polish remover what I did yesterday, painted them black. We are back to just a full black set. I feel inspired, confident. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna nail this today. I, I thought through all the things that went wrong yesterday. I'm not going to rush it. We're gonna make sure everything is dry. So we're gonna start by putting the flame stickers on the nails that I want them while I watch The Bachelor. And then we'll go through, I need to take these ones off, clean my nails, put the new ones on, all of that. But I feel confident. It's gonna work. We're gonna manifest it, baby. These nails are gonna look so good. Okay, we got one hand done. Don't mind the ring tan line. These look sick. Don't look at them up close. You can see little, little mistakes. But like, that's cool. Um, they look so good. Like, definitely up close you can tell they're not professional. But this is sick. Listen, it took a lot of tries to get there. A lot of hours, combined probably like four hours. I'm obsessed with these. These are so fun. I don't know the exact strength. These are different press-ons than I've used before. I don't know if the, how long they're gonna last, but even if they don't, I'm gonna go to the salon and I'm gonna get them done exactly like this because I'm obsessed with them. With that being said, we're gonna wrap up this video here because I'm about to start another one and you just, you're getting a lot of content soon, so. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to HelloFresh for working with me on this video. Make sure to check them out. Everything's linked down below. And welcome back, competition season. I definitely missed you. And I'm excited to be back. So give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh,